Welcome to another edition of the Crawford Institute of Pop Culture Collectibles. Today we're going to swing down and do another favorite collection. Um, I'm working on another must-see video, but I have to think about it a bit more before I jump into that one. And I thought, well, for this week, let's go back to a collection that I really started the whole uh, the whole institute with. One of the very first things I showed people that I put up on the shelf was my Batman Black and White collection. Now, I am complete as far as I'm concerned on the Batman Black and White collection. There is one I'd still like to pick up, but I have the first edition of every version they did. I'll mention it when I get to the one. But there are a few, like the Hot Topic Joker here, you see, uh, that are both black and white, and were actually technically part of the line. And I still consider separate releases. Although, for the most part, when they did um, second, third, fourth editions, I didn't pick all of them up, and I don't consider them necessary for me to be complete. I did, you will see, pick up some of them as we go around because I thought they were really cool. There's another example of that where I picked up two of the editions because I thought they were unique and different enough. But for the most part, I stuck with whatever was the first version they released. I do have a few of the colored ones, but I don't really consider them technically part of the Batman Black and White series. This is, when people come in, one of their favorite sections. This is one of those lines that the individual statues, yeah, great. But when you put them all together like this, that's when they're really impressive. It's interesting to see the history, all the different artists, through a period of time like this. Now, I mentioned that there was one I'd still like to pick up. You see there's the there's a Hot Topic version that I need to pick up still. But since it's just a repaint, I don't technically consider it part of the complete collection of first editions but it is one I am on the hunt for and keeping my eyes peeled. Now, my least favorite in the entire line is the McFarlane, which is so oversized, ridiculously large compared to the rest of the line that it just doesn't really fit in very well. I do hope they'll continue the line with a few more. As you can see, I've left space for maybe one or two more. Uh, and I'm hoping that some of the announcements we've seen will lead to getting some more of them in the line. But until then, I'm pretty happy with the set, and like I said, it's one of those things that when people come out into the Institute, they're really drawn to. So, until next week...